So I'm basically just going to talk about what you haven't seen um, all together. If you haven't watched the other reviews from episodes one through five, which is a good bit of stuff. Um, for one, you don't ever see me talk to Tiana. I talked to her a lot in the house and, you know, she asked me how it was and stuff like that. And I told her like, this house was way more stressful than season 11. Like I would rather be jumped, my hair pulled, get in fights all the time than deal with the stress and try to remain calm. If you didn't notice, like I don't drink like ever this entire season. Like the couple times I did drink, I snapped. And I know Jada made a comment once. She was like, oh, Sarah and her liquid courage. No, bitch, it's not liquid courage. I don't drink because I don't want to choke you guys. And that's the reason that I'm staying sober, so I can somehow remain calm. Like, bitches want to throw macaroni across the table over a free family photo. Like, I'm just like, you look stupid. Like, I'm not arguing with you in public. <laughs> like, you guys look like trash, okay? So you don't see none of that. Um, of course, you don't see the liquor in the bed before the big fight. Whoever pours $150 of liquor of me and Natalie's in our beds, they're soaking wet. A girl pees on Natalie's bed. You don't see none of that. That comes up later. Um, after that, you don't see, okay, Red follows us around the pool. Like, like I go up, I get my camera, whatever. I'm doing a photo shoot with Natalie on the wall. You see the pictures on my website, saraholiver.com. Red's following me around the pool with a black and mild, like, always standing to my left because the smoke was getting in my face. And I'm like, really? Like, go over there. She's like, I just want to sit next to you, Sarah. Kind of like how she was like, Jada, I want to lay next to you. So I'm like literally moving away from this girl and... Like, she's just following me. Like, how are you going to bully somebody by trying to give them secondhand smoke? So we get on the wall, and of course, I was like, you're not coming over here. And her big butt climbs on the damn wall and starts scooting across it and stuff like that. We get in the water, and she doesn't get in the water. So that was really annoying. Okay. Of course, you don't see in the phone room where Jada comes in there and putting her two cents in, talking about... I don't even remember what she was talking about. That's when Rock... Or that's when... Natalie and Judy were telling her, um, you're a reject from season 11. I was like, I don't know. I didn't see it. I made it on the show and she's going all crazy. And I'm like, you're my knockoff Barbie. And they're talking shit about you. And I'm $24.99. You're 99 cents. Like you look stupid. And prior to that, she already knew I didn't like girls getting in my face because when red got in my face, when Camila threw the drink at Natalie, that's when I told her, I don't like people in my face. Like you're in my personal space. Like that's pretty much touching me. Jada puts her nose pretty much like tip and tip to mine. She goes cross-eyed. I'm like, no, you already know I have a problem with it. That's exactly what you're doing. Like, you're trash. Get away from me. I'm like, move back. She swings on me. Um, security, like, takes her out. She tries to pull my hair. That's when we were all cheersing and clapping. Like, yay, Jada's going home. Jada's going home. And, of course, like, war, war, 10 breaks out right after that. All right, so you don't see when... The, okay, when we get home and Rocky accuses Judy of taking Jada's cigarettes, um, J Julie, is, Judy is sitting on the floor, Rocky's above her, like, did you take Jada's cigarettes? And I even say, I'm like, she did not take the cigarettes, she has her own, and Rocky's like, stay out of this, Sarah, this has nothing to do with you. I'm like, it has nothing to do with you, they're not your cigarettes, okay? So then when they come upstairs, um... Jada's all in my face, and then she's like, oh, your butt's fake. It doesn't even move, and that's like Judy saying, like, juggle your butt, Sarah, whatever else. And um, some of this may seem redundant if you watch my reviews, of course, because it's like everything that you don't see all at once. So we're arguing with them. I call her out on her pad. Lip injections and stuff, and then, of course, Natalie steps in and goes psycho, and everybody else gets all upset. The closet scene as well, um, when we're coming home that day, Judy was already saying that she was going to throw a drink in one of their faces they got in her face. Um, also, we were going to say, I told them, I said, if anybody touched her stuff in the closet, like, we're throwing all their shit out the closet. Like, they're not moving her stuff. She's in our closet regardless. And when they, Jada was throwing, like, the clothes over the balcony, whatever, um, Red starts wiping up the liquor. Natalie was like, don't do that. Like, quit using her, like, don't, don't do that, Red. Like, don't do that. She's, like, literally taking like a dress or something out from underneath Red's feet so she's not like ruining her clothes. I'm folding it up, put it on a black garbage bag, and you see it later on in the closet, like in the bottom corner. And uh, let's see what else. There's so much. Um, liquor in the bed. Oh, so you don't see Rocky stealing my dress. After she throws the box of calendars at me and they rip my stuff apart, Rocky steals my dress. Um, it's a gray dress. You see later on it has the number 11. That's the dress she was going to send to her girlfriend for her birthday. Like, yeah, whatever. Jada steals the protein cup. Um, they steal my apron, which I find out later on when I'm looking for 
or when I see my protein cup, I decide to look for my dress in their room. And then that's when I see my apron. And of course, they threw some of my stuff in the pool with Natalie's stuff. Like, it's just a big headache. Like, it's stupid. All right. So, Red's been in my face. Jade has been in my face. Been in like five arguments so far. Okay. So, they're mad I stole my stuff back. And let's see. Jada jumped in when Red was whatever my eye. Okay. So, when the chandelier broke and all the clothes were being thrown out, I don't know how something happened again. Like, something gets in my eye. Like, the same exact eye from BGC 11 being clawed, from All Star Battle 2 getting something in it with the eye patch. Something happens to my eye. My eye gets infected. Like, they even, um, Shane, one of the producers, writes me, like, a little thing. Because I was like, no, I don't want to go to the doctor. And um, he writes me a thing, like, oh, soak it with warm water, put eye drops in it, whatever else. So, my eye, once again, you don't see it, but it gets messed up on this season. So, you miss the liquor, the closet stuff. There's so much more that I just can't even think of right now. Okay, you know, Camila yelling at Natalie, saying Uber's not a car service when we're going to the book meeting. Um, of course, you don't see me doing Judy's nails in her bed when she was all upset and stuff. And it's just like a lot. Like, it's crazy how things are like all mixed up. You don't see the aerial class. I wish I, they would have shown that. Like, that was like a lot of fun. Oh, you don't see um, the producer friend whatever which you see the pictures on my website and it really they really should have like added that in because it makes sense why there's so much tension because did you guys not notice that Jada was with me and Natalie at the beginning all of a sudden she flipped it and then went with Rocky she was upset about the whole music producer that she couldn't go do her little rap studio session like nobody wants to hear your garbage music and the fact that he started like me and we were hanging out all the time and we became really good friends and we're still good friends to this day, she couldn't take that. So that's when she was like, Natalie's fake. Like, she offered me this and now he likes Sarah and da-da-da. Like, so she was upset about that and that's the reason. And it's so funny because nobody even notices. They don't even notice that Jada was with us and then she went to the other side. Nobody notices. Um, what else? It's just been crazy. Natalie getting bit, that whole fight. Um, I don't know. I'm really irritated about the next episode. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I do know it's going to happen. I just don't know what they're going to show that happens, but a lot went down. Um, the funniest limo ride ever is going to be on the next episode. They better show it. Judy gives like the funniest sermon you will ever hear in your entire life. And all I can say is hallelujah. It's about to go down on the next episode. So you have to watch and see. And if you guys want me to talk about something that I'm not thinking of, um, I'm going to post something for you guys to like ask me questions. And then I'll do a video based on you guys just asking me questions. So I might set it up on Twitter or Instagram or something one day, like post a picture and be like, okay, ask me the questions. And then I'll do a video because I feel like I'm covering everything, but I don't really know. But yeah, so I will see you guys next week or I'll see you when you guys have all your questions for me and I'll do you a little video. Mwah.